Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be showing you the 11 Google Analytics metrics that matter most for your WordPress site, and we're going to show you how you can find them in both Google Analytics and the Monster Insights plugin. Let's get started. To see how many people visited your site, you can find it by going to Monster Insights Overview Report, and you'll see it right here at the top of the report. Now to see your traffic sources, just scroll back up to the top here and go to Traffic, and then to Overview, and you'll see the different channels, sessions, engage sessions, page sessions, purchases, conversion rate, and revenue. Now to see your traffic sources in Google Analytics, just go to Reports, and then Acquisition, and then Traffic Acquisition. And by scrolling down the table, you can see more metrics for each of your channels. You can find your top audience countries in Monster Insights in the Overview Report by just scrolling down a bit, and you'll see the countries and the total visitors for the time period that you've selected. Now, if you want to see that in Google Analytics, just navigate to Reports, and then under the User section, click on User Attributes, and then Overview. Now the card at the top is going to display user by country, and you'll see a card just beneath that that's going to show you by city, and you can click on the View Cities link to see detailed metrics about each city. You can identify how your pages are performing in Monster Insights by going to the Traffic tab, and then scroll down to your top landing pages report, where you're going to see the page visitors are landing on, and on the metrics and details about each of those pages. In Google Analytics, you can find the landing pages report by clicking on Reports, and then Engagement, and then Landing Pages. And if you'd like a full tutorial on setting up this report, be sure to check out our guide on Google Analytics landing pages. You can find data about your visitors' demographics in Monster Insights by going to the Publishers tab and clicking on Overview, and then scrolling down to the bottom of the page. Now to see that data in Google Analytics, you can find your demographics reports by going to Reports, and then under the User section, click on User Attributes, and then Overview. Now this report is incredibly helpful if you're posting on social media sites. In Monster Insights, you can see the social media referral traffic right in the Overview tab under Referrals. Or you can just head over to Insights, and then Traffic, and then Social to see traffic from each of your social media channels. Now, to see that in Google Analytics, you'll need to build a custom exploration report. Now, if you haven't built one of those yet, we have a handy guide that will show you exactly how to create a custom report in Google Analytics. But here's how you can build one for your social media report in GA4. First, you'll need to import the following dimensions. Session source, source default channel grouping, and landing page. Next, you want to place session source from your dimensions into the rows box. Now, import the following metrics as well sessions, engage sessions, user engagement, engagement rate, and conversions. Now, place all five metrics into the values box. Now, place session default channel grouping from your dimensions into the Filters box, and then change your filter to Exactly Matches, and type, or you can choose Organic Social under the Enter Expression field. Once you're done, just click Apply. Now you should have a social media channel report that should look something like this. Now for a full walkthrough on tracking social media traffic in Google Analytics, then check out our post on how to set up Google Analytics social media tracking. For this report, you'll first need to connect Google Analytics to your Search Console account. You can see this post for instructions on how to do that. Now, once it's connected, you can view your Search Console report in Monster Insights by simply clicking on the Search Console tab, where you'll see your clicks, impressions, click-through rate, and average position. Now, to view some of your Search Console data in your Analytics account, just go to Reports, and then to Acquisition, and then to Acquisition Overview. And then scroll down to see your organic search impressions and clicks report. Google Analytics doesn't have pre-configured conversions and goals, so you'll have to set those up based on your site's goals. To set those up in Google Analytics, you'll first need to mark existing 
events as conversions by clicking on the admin cog and then go to events where you can modify or create events. Then just locate the event in the existing events table and in the mark as conversions column, click to turn the switch to on. Then you'll see conversions in many of your reports by going to engagement and then to conversions. Now for more on setting up conversions in Google Analytics, check out this guide. You definitely want a mix of new and returning visitors to your site. And to see that in Monster Insights, just go to your Overview tab and then scroll down a bit and you're going to see the new versus returning report here on the left. And you can find that report in your Analytics account under the Lifecycle section by clicking on Retention. And then you'll see the report where you can find data about your new and returning visitors. User engagement metrics are super helpful. So you can find that data in Google Analytics by going to Engagement and then to Overview. And to find your average engagement time per page, just navigate to Pages and Screens and then scroll to the table. Now we've got a great post on eight proven ways to increase user engagement that you should definitely check out as well. In Monster Insights, you can find the report which shows all of your page views by going to Insights and then to Publishers, and then clicking on the Pages Report tab, where you'll see Page View, Engage Sessions, New Sessions, and Bounce Rate. Now in Google Analytics, you'll find that report under Engagement, and then to Pages and Screens, where you'll see the table with the data for the time frame that you've selected. You can see the devices people use to visit your site at Monster Insights Overview Report, where you'll see a basic breakdown of devices. Then for more data, just click the Traffic tab, and then click the Technology link. Now in Google Analytics, you'll need to go to Reports, and then under the User section, click on Tech, and then Tech Overview. Now you'll see some basic data, and you can do a deeper dive by clicking on the Tech Details link. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.